Uh, number one was a salmon taco. Yeah. Uh, number two was some salmon grill. I thought it was grilled well with a assortment of vegetables on it. Number three looked good, uh, but was really not cooked to the satisfaction of what I would be looking for. Didn't like it. Uh, number four, I liked it in the garnish. Number five, uh, I liked it in the garnish. Okay, this is not Saturday, so who you are, where we are. Oh, um, my name? Sure. Oh, it's Elaine. Not oh, Elaine Otterberg. <laughs> I'm in Kennesaw, the Picks and Peaches, and we just judged swordfish for anything but. Um, I really enjoyed number one. It was um, a swordfish taco, soft taco. It was spicy and um, had a good garnish. Um, did not care too much for number two, but I did like the garnish that was on it, the melons and, and all. Um, loved the third one. Uh, the sauce with the capers and all gave a nice little um, salty twang to the, to the swordfish. Uh, I thought number four was a little overcooked. I uh, did enjoy the melon and all that was on it and was not too crazy about number five. Hi, I'm Sue Fluker, and uh, of the five that we judged, uh, this one was my favorite. Number three was my favorite. I liked the combination of the the uh, fish with uh, the topping they put on on it. But all of it, the tenderness and the presentation was very good. Thank you. Who you are, where we are, and what you ate. I'm sorry? Who you are, where we are, and what you ate. Um, Paul Owen, uh, the Pigs and Peaches, Kennesaw. Trying some uh, swordfish. Um, all pretty good. Except for one. A little raw. Oh, my name's Greg Pruitt, uh, Kennesaw Pig and Peaches. Uh, had dessert tonight and had some wonderful dessert. Uh, all of them were great. Uh, three of them stand out more to me than the other ones. And, I don't know. Wonderful desserts. Okay. I'm Charlie with uh, here at Kennesaw Pigs and Peaches. Had uh, seven great desserts tonight. Uh, three of them were great. Some of my real, real unique uh, flavors and uh, great presentations. <laughs> Hi, I'm David at Kennesaw. Um, here tasting the peach desserts and it's really great. Uh, Amy Rhodes at the Kennesaw Pigs and Peaches and any of the peach dessert and very very good turnout this time. Wow everything was wonderful. <laughs> yeah I'm Ken and, and uh, judging peach dessert and at Kennesaw Festival Peaches and we had some very good interest. We're with Johnsonville Brats here with the Big Taste Grill, the largest grill in the United States. There's actually three of them that run around all over the United States. We're here at, at the uh, Pigs and Peaches today. We're having, uh, we're giving actually uh, what we're cooking off here are brats and uh, we're, we're putting them in that little trailer behind us right there. And what we're doing is we're giving the money to charity. So come on over here. And this rig here is, uh, I can cook 750 brats in an hour if I need to. It runs on propane, it's got four grilling stations, it's got hot and cold running water, and it's got a big freezer in the center, so I keep my own product here. The top of it by itself weighs 6,000 pounds. And you can pick it up? Uh, well, with the help of these pneumatic rims, <laughs> I can. <laughs> or about 500 strong guys. But we travel all over the United States, for, and we do mostly charity work. Twelve months out of the year? Uh, no, we actually run, uh, this tour is a fill-in tour. We, we run four, three and a half, four months a year, and the other the other rig to uh, fill in the rest.
truth. Justice. Excellence of barbecue. The American way of life. Let me strengthen and preserve forever. Um, the first one that I tasted, it was really dry, and there was just way too much sauce on it on the first one. Um, the second one had a good bite to it, but it just it was a little dry yet for me. Um, the one I liked the best was the fifth one. It it had a really good bite to it and the flavor, and it was moist inside. Okay. Uh, one had the thigh and the drumette. The drumette took away from the score. The thigh was decent. The drumette was oversauced and overdone. Two was decent. Three was more parsley than meat. Four was a decent piece of meat, and five was the best. Number one, the, <clears throat> number one, the drumette uh, was overcooked. Uh, very dry. The uh, thigh was dry. Uh, the drumette was way, way overcooked. I liked the second one. Mine was uh, nicely cooked, had nice flavor to it. Boat uh, bit very well, as you can see uh, from the indention on it. Number three was a bit dry. Number four was dry. Uh, and the fifth one uh, had a little too much spice for me. Well, my uh, entry uh, one had two different types of chicken, of which I, I tried the uh, thigh. And it was, um, it actually tasted a lot better than it looked. Uh, the second one, a little bit of a rubbery skin to it. Third, uh, someone commented, so much parsley sticking to it, which didn't really affect my judging, but it was just sort of annoying. Uh, it tasted pretty good, but the texture wasn't quite right. Uh, the fourth one was uh, not like not bad, but not great. And my favorite one by far was the fifth entry. I, I just liked everything about it. I liked the way it looked. I liked the way it tasted, and it was very tender and moist. Number one, the um, wing was overcooked and mushy. The thigh was pretty good, but flavor was so-so. Number two was really moist and flavorful. I liked that one a lot. Number three was just a little dry, but still good all the way around. Number four was not memorable and forgettable. And number five was my favorite. It was nice, moist, cooked well. It was very good. The first entry had two different types of meat. One I still haven't really quite identified. Uh, the other was a uh, like a small leg. wasn't very attractive. Uh, tasted better than it looked, would have tasted better if it had been hot. Mine was cold. The second one was the most juicy of the five entries. It had a fairly good taste to it. The third one was it was really kind of bland. Um, and as far as appearance, it was the only one that had very aggressive looking brush, brush marks in the sauce, which kind of detracted from the appearance of it. The fourth one was just, it was good, but it wasn't outstanding. The last one was probably was in my mind the best of the of the group. Tasted good, had good flavor to it, good bite, wasn't dry, was just a good piece of meat. On my uh, ribs category, I thought that um, number two was the best. Had a real good flavor. Uh, it was real tender, and um, my least favorite was number five. It didn't have much flavor at all, and it was pretty tough. My uh, hi. My my most favorite was number one. Not a lot of sauce, but I love the flavor. My least favorite was number five. It was, it was real fatty and completely it just felt undercooked. Real tough. <laughs> number one had a real nice smoked you know taste to it. Uh, the uh, probably the worst rib I've ever had in my life after about 98 contests was number four. It was to me almost undercooked to the point of being raw, chewy, tough. But you gotta do what you gotta do and take a bite out of it. Uh, the last rib was a little on the uh, overcooked side, but other than that, it was uh, some good taste. Uh, number one had a very good smoky flavor. Uh, the rib I got was a little uneven cut, not a lot of meat on it. Two was my favorite. 
uh, seemed to be cooked perfectly. Take one bite, one bite came off the bone. Uh, number four, awful, awful rib. It's almost like it was an afterthought that they just threw on the last second. No taste. The smoke was pitiful. The grill was bad. Uh, the fourth one, last, uh, I mean the fifth one, excuse me, uh, cooked a little bit too much, a little chewy. Uh, had a decent taste to it. That's it. I thought uh, the pork overall was uh, had some very diff- different uh, uh, scores in terms of uh, presentation and flavor. Uh, I did enjoy number one. It had uh, looks like some uh, effort went into the presentation. Uh, there were different cuts. The medallion and the uh, pulled pork had good flavor, good texture. Uh, number two, I enjoyed, although it did have a little bit of a chemical flavor. Uh, we were trying to decide if it was propane or lighter fluid or maybe uh, uh, bark uh, from, the, from the smoke. Uh, three was, uh, was very good, a good presentation and uh, good smoke flavor, uh, along with four, which was my personal favorite. I uh, enjoyed the uh, sweet flavor and uh, the tenderness was spot on. And five, I'm still trying to figure out. Uh, it, was, it looked naked in the box as a seven, and this is the lowest score I've ever given anything in my history of KCBS judging. Um, I gave it a four. I just it had no flavor, and it could have been turkey or chicken. So I'm a little disappointed in that. But overall, you know, good effort by all, I think, with the exception of, uh, of the fifth one. I think my favorite out of the, uh, the five was probably one. Um, several of them were overcooked. Um, number five was kind of bland, dry, tough, something. Uh, I don't think it was injected at all, but uh, really hard to, uh, to judge that one. Um, overall, I guess uh, the pork was a uh, difficult entry today. Uh, on number one, I got a big glob of fat, and and uh, and then number five, it was real, real dry, no, and uh, undercooked, bland, no flavor. Oh, uh, number three was a decent, decent, and number four was decent. They all looked better in the box than they looked on the plate. Uh, most of mine were dry, had no flavor to them, mushy. Uh, that, I guess, sums up my judging of the port category. Just, okay, I didn't know if you were ready. That. Okay, the first one um, was definitely undercooked, and um, um, it, it was almost inedible. Um, the, the taste from what a little I could even get off of it, there was very little taste to it. Um, it probably goes back to show you that you, you probably need, before you turn something in, you probably need to, to taste it before you turn it in. Uh, the second one wasn't too bad. Um, it, had, it was a little over salty, but it pulled apart. The taste was, was good. It was average. Um, the third one as well, um, that one, um, it, 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 the flavor was really mild. Uh, for tenderness, it, it was probably an eight. It was good. Um, for the fourth one, uh, it was well overcooked and it was very salty. As for the last one, um, they should have probably taken off the, the fat layer at the top. Um, and it was really, really tough. It was cut um, way too thick. Um, probably should have made it look about half the size of what it is. And also for the presentation in the box, um, with all the, the black on it, it probably was a little bit of a turnoff. Okay. Somebody else. <clears throat> Entry number one. The first thing wrong was they cut it the wrong way, so it made it unbearably hard to tear apart. We couldn't tear it apart. It had no taste. It, it just wasn't a good entry at all. The second one was overdone. Uh, it fell apart as did the fourth one fall apart. The third one was actually halfway decent. It was probably the best. It had no taste to it. The last one was pure salt and they left way too much fat on it. And the burn in, if you bit into it, it was just all salted beef. And charcoal. And charcoal.